So hello, everyone. This is Otessa, and you are listening to Conversations with Hysterical Women. That's Women with an X, the Hysterical Women podcast, where you are all welcome here, friends, allies, everywhere across the rainbow, across the binary. I'm just really glad to have you be here. And this is meant to be a safe space to explore all of the weird things that life throws at us and all of the different ways in which we can be twisted and torn asunder, but also all the different ways that we can come back together. So thank you for listening, and I'm glad that you're here and it's going to be cheesy, but comment, like, subscribe. My name is Sandy Ian. Okay, awesome. So, okay, when it comes to, like, anxieties in the workplace, have you felt anxiety or is there something that affects you personally when it comes to mental health or in the workplace? Yeah, that's a good question. I think that one of the things that affects me the most is really my relationship with my boss. Mm -hmm. um, I think that we all feel... Us at to some degree or another, some yeah. amount of anxiety when we're talking to our bosses, just because you know they have control over our employment. Yes. So yeah, is it is he like so? Who is your boss? Is it female, so male? My my boss is a woman. Okay. One thing that is really interesting about my workplace is that there are a lot of women and women of color mm -hmm. in positions of authority. Awesome. Um, they all do ladder up to one dude, however. Um, so that's that's a conversation in and of itself of like why do we have all these badass women who are in positions of authority but there's just dudes at the top yeah like, let's yeah let's examine that but i think that a lot of it a lot of the anxiety with her comes from this expectation of women that we are supposed to be agreeable pleasant mild and so Sometimes both she and I will simultaneously do this thing where we're like, oh, but what, what were you going to say? And then it yeah. just puts up, so, like, just wastes so much time yeah, for no reason. Them, trust me, makes complete sense. I know where you're coming from. So you were talking about something about quote unquote Jason. So do you like deal with opposite, not even just male coworkers, but coworkers where the relationship or the work relationship kind of, no, I wouldn't say it is inappropriate, but affects the workplace or the workspace for just you. Not currently, but mm -hmm. I used to work at a startup that had a very casual culture and mm -hmm. very lax HR practices mm -hmm. for a long time. And I do remember that there were times we were in we were in a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I won't say what neighborhood but um, we were in a neighborhood and our office building was built into a hill so most of the office was underground but there were windows where you could see a, a decent chunk of like humanity happening outside yeah and there would just be comments always from men that were about some woman's legs or mm -hmm. look at so-and-so what they're wearing or I love spring because all the skirts come out yeah. and it was just really really uncomfortable and mm -hmm. I'm like we were in an op open office layout and you're just like yelling about people's legs. Yeah. 